So should we always walk around with, okay, I cannot do this bad deed because I'm going to go to hell, constantly being scared of hell, living life of being scared of hell, or being happy of, okay, if I do this, I'm going to go to Jannah and constantly do good. Like just, just in your head, you know, like the balance of that. I have a lecture I did in Perlis, Malaysia, about a year and a half ago. And it's the balance between hope and fear. Mm -hmm. See, a Muslim has to strike the balance. There are three things each and every Muslim must have and believe in. The love of Allah, the fear of Allah, and the hope in Allah. So the love of Allah is like the head of a bird. If you chop it off, the bird is dead. And the fear and hope in Allah are the wings. If one of them, there is an imbalance, the way the bird flies is going to be yes, tilted and it's going to fall yes. eventually. So you have to balance between the fear and between the hope in Allah Azza wa In the sense, Umar ibn Khattab, May Allah be pleased with him, he used to say, and someone says that this is attributed to Abu Bakr, it doesn't make a difference. Both of them are the best companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He used to say, if someone were to shout, O people of earth, all of you are in paradise except one, I would have feared I might be the one. And if someone shouted, O people of earth, all of you are in hell, except one, meaning going to paradise, I would have hoped I'm not that one. So this is the balance. And this gives you check and balance. So whenever I do something, I'm fearful. Would Allah accept it? Is it for the sake of Allah? Is it going to be in my good deeds or bad deeds? And likewise, if I do something wrong, am I going to be punished for it? And so it gives me time to repent, reflect, yes. and ask Allah for forgiveness.